Hi, welcome back to Getting It Done North of 7. Today, I'm going to show you how to wash your paint brushes and your rollers in a bucket, especially if you have a septic tank. All right, so in order to do a good job cleaning your brushes in a bucket, first we want to squeeze out all the paint that we can out of the brush and the roller. I think I've showed this on a video before, but we'll just get as much out as we can. So when we're cleaning the brush and the roller under the water it's not such a big job there isn't so much paint inside each tool so that's about it for there for the brush now for the roller it's a little different you got to get a tool like this that's this is why this tool has this here curve or should i say a third circle on it it's to wrap around your roller so this here is a disposable roller that i'm using but let's say you got a good roller, and I should be using a good roller. You're going to want to clean it like this. Just squeeze the paint out. Look at all that paint that comes out of there. Isn't that crazy? These, these rollers really absorb the paint. It just keeps going. So you just keep squeezing it out like this until you get hardly anything coming off. Well, not hardly anything, but very little coming off. See, now if I was to put this under the top and try to clean the roller when it's loaded up with paint like this, could you imagine how long it would take me to clean that roller? Plus you're saving some paint here. See, that didn't have much on it. It's getting less all the time. But like I said, this is just a throwaway roller, but I just wanted to show you an example of what you would do if you had an expensive roller that you use multiple times. I did have a roller that I used multiple times and I used it over and over and over. You can get a lot of usage out of a roller as long as you clean it properly like this. There we go. Now we're gonna take the roller and the brush downstairs and we're gonna wash them in a bucket so we don't get any paint in our septic system. Now the tray, I already emptied. I don't, I always put a liner in my tray. I don't wash trays anymore, it's just too much work. So you can get like a pack of five of these liners at Home Depot. They're not that expensive. I think it's worth it. So yeah, I just buy packs of liners when I wanna do some painting. So just to show you quickly what we're dealing with here, when you have a septic system, your septic system is for basically anything that you would put in your body, sometimes on your body. Other than that, like paint, it's chemicals, you don't want to put that in your septic system because your septic system has, has a bacteria in it that eats up whatever goes into your septic system and it does not eat up paint. And the paint will just float to the top of your sludge that's in there and it just won't be good like i mean it's not good you want that your septic system is a living organism it's it's a living thing and it needs to do its thing with bacteria. so yeah so again no paints so this here is also our water comes out of this the laundry tub here and into here and this we're in the basement so this machine here will chew up stuff it's called a macerator and it'll push the water and waste out up to the septic system through the pipes it's pretty cool stuff okay so what we got here is our tool here we got our brush and we have our roller um, I'm gonna do the brush first so I'm gonna turn water in on I have an empty bucket and I'm just gonna turn the water on and run it through my brush now remember I squeezed a lot of the paint out there's still lots in here, but not like there would have been if I didn't squeeze it out. And you can turn your brush up like this and put it on full power. We don't have a lot of pressure like you would in a city home, but it works. See, all the water is going in the bucket instead of down into the tub and down the drain. And you can spread your bristles of your brush open like this. Let that water get down in there. And remember, I, I, I didn't mention this, but before I started painting with this brush, 
I wet it like this and I rinsed it out so it left the bristles all damp before I painted. And that's so I don't get paint stuck around here like a rim of paint. Nice little tip there for you. So we're just going to keep doing this until we get all the paint out. And basically it's just diluted paint, right? It's mostly water in the bucket. But you still don't want that going down your drain. So what's going to happen was when my bucket does get full, I'm going to take it outside and dump it. I have a place here that I can dump stuff like this. Like I got a bunch of property and it's not going to hurt it because it is all diluted heavily. There wasn't that much paint in the brush. Okay. I think we got most of it out. Yep. We're out. So I'm going to pull the camera back and show you what I do. So I'm just going to flick it like this. Get most of the water out of the brush. My dog's barking because she thinks I'm talking to someone down here. And then we can flick our bristles like this. Get all the water out of your brush. And then I go like this. I just put it between my hands and I go real fast. Fling all the water out. Now this is all I've been doing for years. You can buy a tool that you put the handle of your brush in and it does the same thing a lot faster. You don't need to buy anything. This does the job. No more water coming out. It's good. I can put it up to dry now. Okay, now our roller. So I'm going to take the roller off of the cage. So we call this the cage. And we're going to clean the ends of the cage. In the water that's already here, we won't bother putting the water on. That dog is going crazy because she thinks I'm down here talking to somebody. She's yappy. So basically that's it. Give it a couple spins, get the water out of it. We're going to leave that here. Now we have our tool. Just basically clean that up. So you don't have buildup of paint all over it. There, that's good. Now we got our roller. So we're just going to squeeze at it. It's already been sitting in this bucket of water for a while. And just rub our hands up and down on it. Get all the paint out that we can. You won't think that this will come clean, but it really does. We'll just keep rinsing some water over the roller. You can run your nails in it and open up the roller the fur on it. And just keep doing this and squeezing it and get it all clean. So I'm not going to finish doing this because this is a throwaway roller. Actually, maybe I will because I can reuse it. So I'm going to have to empty this bucket real soon. We're getting about two inches from the top of the bucket. Also clean right on here on the insides of your brush, your roller I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time cleaning this. It looks pretty good though, doesn't it? There we go. Because I want to show you something. Okay. Again, flick, and we're going to put it back on our cage like this. And I usually go outside or put it down low in the tub like this. I'll show you. And I just spin it, get all the water off. And I go real fast, as fast as I can, get all that water off. You wouldn't believe you go outside and it just flings all over. Just don't hold it high and get your face all wet. So that's it. That's how you wash your paint brushes in a bucket, especially if you have a septic system. This is why I wanted to show you this video because I do have a septic system and you don't want that going down in there. So if this video helps you and you learn something from it, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.